I love doing research, programming, and uh, at the same time reading books. My name is Ahmed Fadil. I am a PhD researcher in Fondazione Bruno Kessler. I come from the southern part of uh, Iraq. I didn't know that uh, Italians uh, drink too much coffee. Uh, when I arrived and when I was drinking tea, people were like uh, looking at me, wow, what's that? Uh, why don't you drink coffee? <laughs> so after uh, six years, I can say that uh, I drink coffee all the time. <laughs> Uh, when I was in uh, high school, imagine a class of uh, 40 students learning how to use a computer by accessing three or uh, four computers at most. Internet was not there. Uh, even though after that I started to love our computers and at some point I decided to do whatever it takes to get one. I think that uh, that in a way uh, gave me a passion to pursue a career related to uh, computer and the use of computer. My whole uh, goal was to get my bachelor and then uh, start working. Then uh, at some point I had to quit because of uh, the situations there. But then uh, I had the chance to apply for a scholarship uh, abroad and uh, I got accepted to a university in Cyprus. Uh, my life uh, totally changed. From there I uh, started to have more uh, ambitions, to study more, to travel more, to discover new places. And from there uh, I had the chance also to come to uh, Italy to continue my master and uh, now my PhD. Coach AI is a telemedicine application that uh, helps uh, physicians to decrease their uh, workload while tracking uh, many patients. For example, if we consider a scenario where we have a dietitian and people struggling with overweight or uh, poor uh, dietary habits, the dietitian will define a dietary goal, which could be, for example, decreasing carbs consumption or uh, increasing uh, vegetable consumption. Uh, once the patient accesses the chatbot, the patient will receive the goal defined by the coach and later on provide their uh, adherence, their feedback to that plan, whether they have followed it or not. Being a researcher in uh, FBK, you get the chance to have uh, flexibility, to have uh, the freedom to decide what, what to work on, uh, where to conduct your research. I think it's, uh, as, as, a, as an institute, it uh, can offer a lot to uh, PhDs uh, in terms of uh, the facilities, in terms of collaborations, in terms of travel abroad, and uh, it can also shape your uh, experience to think differently. So AI is here to stay. There will be many jobs uh, will, that will be replaced uh, by AI. But uh, on the other side, it, I think it will uh, also bring better services. It will also create new jobs. So it will also create new opportunities for the people.